All right, friends, back for our synonyms and antonyms, but let's review what we do know. We know that leap means to jump. I say forward. It says high, but forward and high is fine. We use the sentence that the cheerleader will leap across the court. Another word for leap would be to hop or hurdle. So the cheerleader will hurdle across the court. If I'm talking about the opposite of leap, I'm saying that you just drop. You just drop. All right, our word was crowd. And reminder, a crowd is a large group of people. And we said that the crowd was gathered at the pool because it was a hot day. So when we're talking about a large group of people, we can say a herd, a mob. I might even add a mass of people. Mass is a good word. If we're talking about the opposite of a crowd or a large group of people, we're talking about an individual or a single person. Cliff, remember that's that high piece of land. We used the sentence that rock climbers go down the high cliffs. I said they could also go up the high cliffs. However you want to write your sentence is fine with me. If we're talking about a cliff, we're talking about a ridge or a ledge. And if there's no cliff, it's just a valley. That's the down below. That's, that's where... Um, the bottom of a cliff is a valley. So the opposite of high piece of land would be a low valley. All right, refused. Remember, if you refuse to do something, you're just not willing to do it. And we said my little brother refused to take his medicine. So if we're refusing to do something, we're turning it down, declining it. And if we are talking about an opposite of refusing to agree or to allow. Agree or allow. And lastly, village. Remember, that's that place that's smaller than a town. And we used the sentence, he grew up in a little village. So another word might be community or neighborhood. And the opposite of a community or a neighborhood or a little small village would be a great big city. A big city. All right, those are our words, our definitions, our antonyms, synonyms, and sentences that go with our words.